This video will help you install your thermostat if you do not have a wire labeled C, but you do have a gas oil or propane conventional forced air system and a wire labeled G. If you use this option, the G wire will be substituted for your C wire at both your thermostat and heating and cooling system, which will remove your ability to turn your system fan on. However, the fan will still run when your system runs. Please refer to the local building code before using this wiring option. You may notice a wire that looks like this, known as a jumper wire. Note if you have a jumper wire between R and RC terminals. Next, use the supplied sticky tags to label each wire according to the letter on the terminal in which it is inserted. Do not label the wires based on their color because wire color does not necessarily indicate the wire's function. After labeling your wires, use a screwdriver to loosen the terminals and pull the wires out. Now you can remove the wall plate of your old thermostat. When removing it, take care to ensure none of the wire labels fall off and that none of the wires fall through the wall opening. Here's a helpful hint. Wrapping the wires around a pencil can prevent them from falling back through the wall after removing your old wall plate. Now it is time to begin installing your new thermostat. Locate the wall plate. It's in the package next to the manuals. You'll want to set the thermostat aside for now and begin mounting the wall plate. Position it so the wire hole is centered and pull the wires through the hole. Now is a good time to verify if it is level. Using a pencil, mark the positions of both screw holes on the wall. If you don't already have holes in the areas you marked, you'll want to make pilot holes for the screws and anchors. If you are mounting the thermostat on drywall or plaster, use the drill bit indicated in your user guide. Once you have pilot holes, use a hammer to tap the anchors into the pilot holes. Next, after inserting the anchors, it's time to attach the wall plate. Position the wall plate so its holes are over the anchors and insert the screws. Use a screwdriver or drill to partially tighten the screws. Then level the wall plate again before tightening up the screws. Since you determined earlier that you have a gas, oil, or propane system and you have a wire labeled G, you can use your G wire as your C wire to provide the required power to your thermostat. To do this, connect all wires to their designated letter terminals at your wall plate, except the wire labeled G. Instead, insert the G wire into the C terminal on your wall plate. Please note that you will lose your ability to turn your system fan on by doing this, but that's okay because you have a gas, oil, or propane heating and cooling system, which will control the fan when the system is running. You will see that your new Wi-Fi thermostat has a jumper wire for connecting the R and RC terminals. It is located in the lower left of the terminal area and not directly in the same location where you will be inserting wires for the R and RC terminals. Keep this loop in place unless you have both R and RC wires. If you have both wires, remove the jumper loop by simply pulling on it and insert the wires into their respective terminals. Then, go to your heating and cooling systems terminal block and look for the wire in the G terminal there. The terminal block is located in your heating and cooling system. Not all terminal blocks will look the same, but they should have the same letter designations. Move the G wire to the C terminal at your terminal block. For your system to function properly, you will also need to run a jumper wire from the Y terminal to the G terminal at the terminal block. If you do not have a jumper wire, you can make one out of 18 gauge wire, which can be found at your local hardware store. Moving the G wire to the C terminal at both the thermostat base and the heating and cooling system terminal block provides the required power from your home to your thermostat. The jumper wire ensures your fan still runs while your system runs. When you are done at the terminal block, make sure you put the heating and cooling system door back on properly so that the interlock switch allows the power to be turned on for the system and the thermostat display. After you've finished connecting all the wires, push any excess wire back into the wall opening. Align the thermostat with the wall plate and snap it in place. Switch the power back on for your heating and cooling system at the circuit breaker box or the system switch. This should power up your thermostat's display to begin the initial setup. Begin by selecting the language to be displayed on the thermostat and press Next to continue. If at any time you need assistance, simply select Help for more details. Choose either Home or Business. This optimizes the terminology and preset schedule for either installation situation. Continue by selecting Next. 
Following this, create a unique name if desired by pushing the thermostat button. This will come in handy when accessing the thermostat remotely, especially if you have multiple thermostats. Continue by selecting Next. It is especially important that you set up the correct system type so your heating and cooling system functions properly. To get started, choose if the thermostat is used to control heating, cooling, or both and select Next to continue. To have the thermostat work correctly, it is important to select whether you have a forced air, heat pump, or hot water steam system. The Next screen will further define the system based on your system type selection. To determine your system type, press Help on your thermostat screen or visit wifithermostat.com slash support. When you've finished making changes, press Done to save and exit. Congratulations! You are now ready to connect your thermostat to your home's Wi-Fi network. For assistance with this process, watch the video on wifithermostat.com slash videos called Honeywell Do-It-Yourself Wi-Fi Smart Thermostat Wi-Fi Enrollment and Registration. This video will help you install your thermostat if you do not have a wire labeled C, but you do have a gas oil or propane conventional forced air system and a wire labeled G. If you use this option, the G wire will be substituted for your C wire at both your thermostat and heating and cooling system, which will remove your ability to turn your system fan on. However, the fan will still run when your system runs. Please refer to the local building code before using this wiring option. You may notice a wire that looks